Hello everyone, and welcome to our video on reading a solution from a simplex tabla. So as a recap, let's scroll through. So the ink's still on here. Um, we're, we're breaking down the whole process. We're just, so we did the whole thing on one video and then we, we're now picking apart certain steps or certain phases of this long process. So in this, they've already broken it down to where we are through uh, the pivoting. So they're like, all right, so it's we're, we're, we're at number eight, really. So they gave us the whole answer. And to read the solution, we look at the columns, and the columns with only one non-zero entry, one non-zero entry can have non-zero solutions, and we'll show how to find those. The columns with more than one non-zero entry will have a solution of zero. So, and you could kind of go in any order that you want to to break it down. So in this problem, it says a maximized problem has been converted to a simplex tabla and completely pivoted. So everything's done with it. Write the solution that can be read from the simplex tabla. All right, so to do that, let's, let's take a part. Let me use my colors and say, hey, this column right here has one non-zero entry. And, and the, the X, X's and S's and the Z are, are therefore organizing. So you're really only looking at the numbers at this point. So the 0, 2, 0. So the 2 is the one that's not 0. Let's get all the other columns that have that same deal. So x3 has that same deal. One non-zero entry in this column. And then s1, s2, nope. z has the same deal. z has one non-zero. So that means with these three, so these in the blue are most important, we can break down each one of them. So this first column is saying this coefficient, this 2, is back and attached to the x1. So it's back attached to the x1, and then it's just automatically equal to the constant that's to the far right. And they didn't put the constant there, so usually I do. So you could put little c if you want to. Okay, so we have 2x1 equals 12, and then from there we'll solve it in just a second. Okay, so we've got, and, and you can see it right away too if you want to solve it right now. All right, then this second column says this 6 is instantly attached to its corresponding variable, so x3, and then it's instantly equal to the leftover constant, the 54. And then from there we can solve that as well. And then this last one, this last blue column is saying, all right, 4 is attached to z, and it's equal to that last constant, and we can solve that also. So there's setting all of these up. And then at any time, you can solve these. Okay, so like this one is x1 is 6. This one is x3. So divide by 6, and you get 9. Divide by 4 on that, you do get z equals 0. Okay, so currently we have these as our solutions. And then now all we have to do is look at, okay, so these other columns have more than one non-zero entry. These are also very nice at this point. These have multiple non-zero entries, which instantly means that they're just set to zero. And that's it. That's the rule. Okay, so that's awesome. All right, and then this is all of our variables. And so usually what they do is just make sure it is organized to like x1 equals x2 equals x3 equals um, s1 equals s2 equals and then z equals. I did mine vertical. Um, we got kind of close to the edge there of the second problem, but it might be horizontal, whatever. Okay, so x1, we solved that is, is 6. x2 is the purple is 0 x3 we solved that is 9, s1 was also purple equal to 0, s2 also equaled 0, and then z just coincidentally also equaled 0 because the 4 divided over and 0 divided by 4 was still 0. Okay, so there it is. So there's our answer from this tabla. Okay, so let's do it again. And if, you, if you're feeling good about it, I mean pause it, you could see if you can get the right answer. All right, so with this, I'm going to do the same deal where I, I look through and just say, all right, this is a column with only one non-zero. This is a column with only one non-zero. X3 has multiple non-zero, 6 and 5, so moving on. S1, moving on. S2, moving on. S3 has one non-zero. And then Z 
has one non-zero as well. Okay, so there's everything in it. Okay, and so with this, we can, we can again do what we did last time. Um, we've got 3x1. And this time I'm not going to do arrows. I'm just, well, I guess you could still. So 3x1. So 3x1 equals 1. And then from there we can solve it. Let's go ahead and solve it right away. Divide each side by 3. We get x1 equals 1 third. Okay, and then this x2 one, well, that's right here. 1 half x2 would equal the far constant, which is 6. And then we could solve this one as well. If we multiply both sides by 2, we would get x2 is 12. So there's that. Okay, and then this, all right, so I guess I'm squeezing it in. 2 fifths S3 would equal the far constant 8. Okay, so this, this is where I kind of didn't give myself enough room. Let me just take it over here. 2 fifths S3 equals 8. So to solve this, we would multiply both sides by 5 over 2. And then from there, notice this 2 and that 8, you can cancel. That would become a 4, and that would become a 1. Everything on the left cancels except the S3. So S3 is equal to, um, it looks like 4 times 5 would be 20. Okay, so 20 is S3. Okay, and then this last one, Z, Z, it's 1Z equals 0. And then we'll divide by 1. We, we again get Z equals 0. Okay, so that's not going to happen every time. Just on these two problems, it did. Okay, so those are those. And then now we have all of the columns that have multiple non-zeros. Okay, so 6 and 5. All of those are not 0. Here, all of these are not 0. Okay, so that means all of these in the purple are instantly assigned to be the variable equals 0. Okay, so that's it. And then now we just type it in or write it so that it's all organized. So x1 equals 1 third. We've got, well, let's just keep it, yeah, let's go vertical. I think I can fit that. Okay, so x1 is 1 third. Um, x2, so just go, I'm just making sure I'm writing them in order. x2 is 12. Then x3 would be next. x3 was 0. It's over there. And then s1 is 0. s2 is 0. s3 is all, where is it? There it is, 20. And then z is the last variable. z equaled 0 also on this problem. Okay, there it is. Okay, so that's how we read the solution. So the the final tabla, it's weird. It's certainly weird, right? Okay, so there's a strange process to these problems. It's kind of abstract. Um, but once you kind of catch the pattern, I hope it's not as bad as it seems. Okay, so it's a weird setup, but it... it quickly gives an answer at least once you do have it okay so that's it so that's how we can read these solutions from these tablets all right so um okay well we're just picking apart those giant eight steps we'll see what else we got in the next one um thanks for watching though and i'll see you again soon